Okay, so this video is about H5P content. Um, H5P content is basically a way of getting um, interactive content into the a learning management system. And it's pretty um, universal. So it can work at almost any learning management system out there. And that way, that's why it's become very popular over the last few years is because, uh, you know, it, it can go into either Moodle, Canva, Blackboard, and so on. So I like to go over how to uh, create interactive videos. And that's how we should be posting videos into the Moodle class moving into the future. Um, so let me share my screen. Okay. And I'm going to pull up the Moodle class. And um, <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is uh, I've already got this uh, plumbing apprenticeship year three class up. And what I wanted to do is currently we're posting the videos as pages and then putting embedding the videos into those pages. But we want to from now on post them as H5P interactive videos. And how do you do that? Well, first you have to what we call create content. Um, so again, we're going to make sure that we're we are in the editing mode. We're going to go to the bottom of the section. We're going to add an activity or resource. So the resource we're adding is an H5P activity. All right. So uh, we are going to click on that. We are going to label this. This is going to be, um, we're going to label it as Plumbing Apprenticeship Ship Years Three and Four, and it's going to be a lecture for September 21st, 22. Now, to get that lecture, we're going to go to our YouTube page and we're going to find that lecture date. Uh, should have been streamed, but let's make sure we have that stream. So um, that's the, for the 27th. We're looking for plumbing. This is the 21st. So we want this one right here. So we're going to grab the link and get a shareable link. So now we've copied that link into our clipboard. So we're going to go back to our Moodle class. Okay. And now we're going to create content. So this content has not been created yet. So we're going to go to this link right here at the bottom. It's going to be content bank. Okay, and this is going to bring us to the content page. And if there was content, we would see it listed here, but there's no content in this class yet. So we're going to add content. And with H5P, you have so many options of creating interactive content. For this video, what we're going to focus on is interactive video. So we're going to click on interactive video. And what it did was it popped up an additional tab. So our add content tab is still here. So um, for the course itself. So we're going to create content right now. And we're going to, the content that we were wanted to create, put in the class, we're going to create. Uh, so we're going to click plumbing apprenticeship. Years three and four. And it's the lecture for September 21st. 22. Okay. Then this is where we're going to add our video. So we're going to click here and um, H5P allows you to upload video or embed a URL. So I'm going to put in, uh, paste in the copy uh, address that we got from the YouTube page and we're going to insert. Okay. So we've inserted. Uh, I'm going to go to interactive video and Again, if the video fails, we're going to have a, the title here in case it failed at any time. Ship uh, year. Again, same information that we put in now a, a third time here. Or I'm sure September 21st, 22. Okay. Now, um, if we were going to. Since we're adding a YouTube video, we don't have to worry about 
um, subtitles. But if we we're going to use this from our, say, our Amazon server, then we'd be concerned about making sure that subtitles were added to this. But we don't have to worry about that. So we're just going to move on, go to the bottom and hit save. Okay. And then that's going to give us our uh, example of what the content looks like. Okay. So we've created content. So what we're going to do is we can close out this window now or this tab. And we're back to where we needed to create the content in our web page or add it to our web page, um, the Moodle class itself. So to add the H5P content for the interactive video that we just created, you know, we would create the resource, select H5P, create that content, put the title in, but we would hit this page symbol and we hit that page symbol. And now, we have a library of what's H5P content is in this class. So we're going to click on that. Um, you can just keep it at link to the file and then select this file. And now we have the H5, H5P content is in our class. But again, since we want to track whether the people actually watch the video, we, we want to activate completion tracking. So we're going to go to activity completion. We're going to go drop down to show activity is complete when and just leave it at student must view this activity to complete it and then we have save and return to course okay now if we go to the bottom of our section one module one section there's our new content which is labeled for h5p and we're going to move it up um, where it belongs and we're going to put it right underneath the old page content so you can see the differences this is a page which we used to use that formatting but we want to start using the h5p formatting and i'll tell you the reason why we're doing to do this is because the h5p again we're calling it interactive video and what that means is that we can add resources to the video like if i want to go and look at this content i could actually go to the top of the page, go more and go to the content bank. And that will lead me to the content that's on this um, in this class. So this is all the content that I've made within this class. So I can click this at any time, even after I posted it and I can hit the edit button and make changes, which that gives us a, a certain amount of flexibility that creating the page doesn't already. But if I wanted to, then I could add interactions. So I could add text to the video. I could add a label, meaning word, just words. Um, I could add a table. I could put embed a link into this video itself, uh, add images, but I can also add questions. And in the future, what we're going to do is so in order to ensure that students have actually watched the video, we're going to get questions from the instructor that we can add to the video near the end so that they have to answer to show completion. We'll change that completion tracking at that point. Um, and that way we can better regulate or observe how that they are finishing their assignments when they're supposed to. So that's the part, that's really one of the biggest reasons that we're doing it this way. But, you know, we don't need to look at this where we're, you know, We've created this content. We're not adding any interactions right now. So let's go back to the class. Okay, so we're going to go back to the class. Uh, let's hit general over here. And that's gonna bring us back to the top of the class. And we have this content, we've added this content. But if you remember, or maybe if uh, you're, not, you're not familiar with the apprenticeship classes, I said this. this is for years three and four. So we need to get this class into year four as well. So we, you know, we created the content in year three. We've already placed it in year three, but now we've got to get it into year four. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit home. And that's going to bring me to the list of my classes. And I'm going to find plumbing year four. I'm going to go into that. Okay. I scroll down and there's the old page of the video that we posted up but we want to get the h5p in there okay so here's the thing we don't want to recreate something we've already have so we're going to use the 
uh, H5P content that we've already created. I'm going to go down to the resource add section. I'm going to add the resource. Again, I'm going to pick, pick H5P. I'm going to label it properly. You know, it's plumbing apprenticeship years three and four. And this is lecture from September 21st, 22. Okay, and now if I go and hit the paste button because I want to add content, and I want to add the content we've already created, hit this, there's nothing there. Why? Because I created that content while I was in year three. That content is now in the year three library, but we could still add it to this class. What we need to do is follow the breadcrumbs. So we follow the breadcrumbs by clicking into the apprenticeship section. So we're going to hit the apprenticeship section and we're going to go and find year three plumbing, which is right here, year three plumbing. And we're going to click into year three plumbing. There's the content that we created in the year three class. Now I can click this. It's get, again, it's make a copy. No, we don't want to make a copy because then you start adding more content and more content onto the server. Don't need to do that. We just need to create it once and then bring it over. So we're going to link to the file. We're going to select this file. And again, we're going to go down and make sure that our ac activity completion is complete, is, you know, set up properly. And we're going to save and return to the course. And now go to the bottom of that section. There's our new H5P content um, ready to be moved where it belongs. I'm going to move it up to the correct section right here. And I'm going to hide the old one because I want them to access this one from now on. And so what I've done is I walked through creating an interactive video using the H5P. But remember, you have to create the content first and then when you're creating the resource, hit that page icon so that you can access that, that um, content you've already created. But also remember that if you're in a different class, you need to use the breadcrumbs to go to the, the class that you created the content. Again, H5P, that will allow us to get questions later on that we can then edit the already, already uploaded uh, interactive video Create, add those questions and then have the students have to answer those questions in order to finish completion tracking. And then when we get to that point, I'll probably make a subsequent video on how to make, make those changes. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much.